Hi everyone, um, it's Bimo here. I'm gonna have uh, the maiden flight of this um, Flies International Eurofighter Typhoon uh, G1E, which E well, it stand, E stands for uh, EDF. And this morning I'm accompanied by this little fella. <laughs> I don't know. She just came over and then um, walking around me. Um, oh, she's so cute. <laughs> okay, this is actually the um, Park Flies International Eurofighter Typhoon uh, version one, and my build is using uh, 70 millimeter CTF, and I'm gonna fly it with the um, 1800 uh, mAh battery uh, 4S. And my colleague Jeff Reimer has flown his built with 64 millimeter EDF. Whoa, whoa, hang on buddy, hang on buddy. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> He has flown his with 64 millimeter EDF um, and successfully made some mod. Well, I will try to fly it as stock, right? No mod yet. Um, I mentioned uh, to some of my friends that I will um, play some mods, but not at the moment, not at the maiden flight. I just want to see um, how it flies at the first time on its maiden flight. Okay, so it's using a mix of elephants, um, ailerons, um, with two servos, and that's the rudder, right? And I'm painting it based on Royal Saudi Air Force uh, paint scheme and markings. Uh, first of all, I didn't know that they um, got the first squadron of a Eurofighter Typhoon um, in this world. So. Enough said, I'm going to open the canopy. So there's the FlySky uh, IA6P receiver with the battery uh, telemetry sensor, as well as the Emax 50 amps VL Heli ESC. Hope that should somehow be sufficient because on bench test, it didn't somehow generate lots of heat, only just slight, slight warm uh, condition, as well as the battery too. And, okay, I made the <sighs> thrust tube. Okay, buddy, hey, want to say something here? No? Nope. <laughs> okay, the thrust tube, um, actually put it here. There will be, my biggest concern is actually that will be a few, not few, but hang on. Hey, buddy, just wait over here, okay? Um, there will be sort of, a, what is it, um, vortices here, right? But I plan to actually make some, make some holes up there, right? on here and here and also below here and here so hopefully it will somehow bring air free air as well from outside to um, eliminate or reduce the vortices and um, that's it I think I think this is it this is the um, biggest moment for this Eurofighter EDF I put four mini fins underneath the wing plate so it hopefully it will stabilize on high angles as well oh, man this looks very very scale okay let's see how it flies cheers okay um Hi guys, it's the maiden flight of the uh, Park Flyers International Eurofighter Typhoon G1E. And just as I said earlier in the walk around video, E stands for EDF. This is actually our first ground up EDF 
uh, power jet design. So I'm using 1800 um, mAh battery. I don't know how long it will somehow get um, fly this plane in the air. I haven't flown it yet. So my colleague Jeff Reimer had successfully uh, flown his Eurofighter with only 64 millimeter uh, EDF. This one gets 70, so I hope uh, with bigger thrust and um, everything will somehow support this maiden flight. Okay, last check. Um, always putting the um, setting to have uplift slightly uplift for this check for the ailerons elevons elevators rudders oh, I feel a bit nervous right now frankly speaking so let's get to it then okay um, it's a bit wet uh, let's give it a try Whoa. Okay, at 60% it tends to jump up. So let me fix this first. Okay. Okay, here it goes. Well it flies! <laughs> Very stable. I don't know whether it's wind fighter or not because wind dies now. Man, hands off. It's very stable now. Very stable. Seems like it, it's, it's flying on rails. I'm not gonna do funny things. Wow, it's good. It's good. Yeah, just as what um, what thing said, it's pitch sensitive. So I need somehow to lower down the throws for the ailerons. It flies at about 40, 40 something percent now. So with this kind of um, aileron sensitivity, it will roll like a bullet. Yep, rolls good. Okay, it glides well. Brilliant! Oh man, it's good. <laughs> it's really good seeing this in the air. Oh my god. Well, after watching this fly, just flew now, I think um, we are very, very close to uh, release the plan to public. Man, I love watching this. It's so scale. It's probably only about, I don't know, three minutes in the air, three, four minutes in the air, using EDF at about 50% throttle. Um, but that's it. I only want to somehow see this device and enjoy the um, looking at this Eurofighter Typhoon. Oh, by the way, if you look at it closely, right, uh, from the uh, nose uh, going rearward to uh, the afterburner section, 
it changes its um, shape from round to a bit flat um, up down till the afterburner section. So this represents um, true skylines of the Eurofighter uh, Typhoon. So this just has answered my uh, curiosity whether it will fly good or not. It's it's actually it flies very very agile, very good and yet very stable. So that's the maiden flight for um, the Eurofighter Typhoon G1A. For further information, you can visit um, our website at www.hotflyersinternational.com. Thanks for watching, guys. See us. Whoa, that's good. Okay, cut the throttle. It glides. It glides nicely. Whoa! Nggak mau turun.